All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakat Gadash. Uh, double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught me this truth. And peace and salutation, Barakatum, to you, Sincere Akim, that's laboring in this work, pushing this word out in all truth and all sincerity across the four corners of the earth, man. All right, and um, as you see on the screen, all right, this is a. You know, a real live chariot, all right, with the world eagle called so called UFO, so called white man called so called UFOs, but you know, these are the chariots of Israel, man, of Yashir Allah, all right, and these are what the angels ride in themselves. And this is what Esau, starting with the elites, this is what they fear, okay? That's why they try to downplay, uh, you know, the sightings of these uh, so-called UFOs, man. How they try to say that is little green men from Mars and all this madness, you know, to, to dumb down or to declassify these uh, chariots as being real, okay? But, uh, hey, man, this, this is what Esau fears, man, because more and more you're seeing these chariots pop up showing you that, you know, this is the end of this white man's kingdom. All right? His rulership is coming to an end. All right? And this is going to be the deliverance, all right, for you Israelites, all right? Starting with the elect. All right? And, um, you know, hey, this is, this is some beautiful times we're in. All right? And Esau knows that his technology cannot come against this, uh, you know, uh, these vehicles, man. All right, because these vehicles are coming from the third dimension. All right, and uh, these devils they think they're gonna try to fight against the Lord when he comes back, the Lord and the angels, man. But you know, that's gonna be for their destruction. All right, because we know that the Lord's gonna put the spirit on Esau uh, to fight against him and the angels when they return on the earth okay so yeah we're definitely in some uh beautiful times right now you know the lord is basically uh you know revealing these chariots more and more in the earth all right all right but uh you know hey man we're we're so so close man we're so close man okay and uh you know hey just to see these chariots man they're, they're a sight to see, especially this one right here. You know, it's, it's beautiful, a beautiful sight, man. Okay, but it, it's even better to be in one, you know. But uh, let me get a scripture, man. This is uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 26 and verse uh, 20. And it reads, it says... Uh, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. All right. So, you know, these these uh these chariots, man. OK, they're going to be for our deliverance, man. During the time when the Lord destroys America, Babylon, the great by nuclear fire. All right, by nuclear destruction. All right, because America, as you know it, is going to be totally wiped out and destroyed from off the map. Okay, this place is no longer going to exist. It's going to be a, a desert. And with these chariots, man, you know, they're going to be our deliverance out of Babylon the Great. That's the only way you're going to be able to survive the nuclear destruction that's coming to this place. As if you get delivered, if you're a part of the Lord's elect. Other than that, whoever's here during those times are going to be destroyed. They're going to be caught up in that second death, that lake of fire that's written in the book of Revelation. All right. It says, uh, For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood. And shall no more cover her slain. Alright, so the Lord is coming, man. 
He's coming from where? He's coming from off his off the throne. All right. Uh, uh, from the right side of the father. Okay. Come down to what? Destroy America, and to bring down his kingdom. Okay. And this is what we hastily waiting for, man. We 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 can't wait for the Lord to come back, man. Okay. And when it says that that little moment, what I read in uh, verse twenty, that little moment is in, you know, it's talking about basically all it's going to take is for an hour for America to be destroyed. Okay. That's how fast the destruction is going to take place. Take place. You know, it's going to be a, a, a it's going to be an hour. Okay, because the missiles. All the missiles that's gonna uh, uh, detonate on this on this land, all right, is over two hundred million missiles, man. Two hundred million warheads are gonna hit this place, man. So, the devastation, like the scripture says in um, Isaiah the twenty fourth chapter, that the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, because that's how devastating uh, that nuclear blast is gonna be, man. It's gonna rock. And shake the whole earth. All right, that America is not going to be, you know, it's, it's never going to stand ever again. This place is going to be totally wiped out. All right, and this is going to be a memorial site for the nation of Israel to remember all the wickedness that went on in this place, man. This place is going to be a desert where only uh, unclean animals unclean uh scavengers all right the, the 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 fowls of the air they're gonna be the ones that's gonna uh basically be on this on this desert man on this land all right no man ever is gonna dwell on this on this land ever again all right it says uh yeah that's in on that get isaiah the 31st chapter and uh verse 5 says, as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over it, over he will preserve it. Alright, so just like how birds fly in uh, V formation, that's how the chariots are going to come back. That's how the Lord and the angels are going to come back on the earth. Alright, to what? To bring judgment to this place called America. Destroy America and the, the deliver the Lord's elect. Okay, so that's how the Lord the Lord is going to come back. He's going to come back in a in a in a, 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 a grand chariot with a, with a, you know the world eagle called so called UFO. All right, just like how they depict in the movies, uh, War of the Worlds, uh, Independence Day. That's how the Lord is going to come back, man, in the chariot. All right, same way how uh, he left. Is the same way he's going to come back. He's going to descend back on the earth. By the way of the chariots, man. By this way of so-called UFOs, man. Alright? This is uh, the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 3. It says, uh, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be slacker. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. All right, and how you gonna be hid in the, in that day? The elect is gonna be hid through those chariots, man. All right, that's the only way you're gonna be delivered if you're a part of the Lord's elect. Other than that, you're gonna be destroyed here in Babylon the Great and whatever various parts of the world where you know the Lord is gonna send forth His destruction. But America as a whole is going to be totally wiped out and destroyed. All right. Okay. So the only way you're going to be hid. All right. Is, is through these chariots, man. During that time when the Lord sends his forth his wrath. You see. This is Isaiah chapter 60 verse 8. It says. Who are these that fly as a cloud? And as the doves to their windows, man. And, and you see how this chariot is shaped. It sort of looked like a cloud. All right? And, you know, it shows you how, you know, 
how far out the Heavenly Father is, man. He could create, you know, uh, these these chariots to look like all type of different shapes and sizes and colors, you know. The Lord, He has a, a unique a unique style, you know. He has different ways on how, you know, these chariots appear. Okay, some might look like a a, a cloud. They get real big. They get real small. You know, they shape shift. All right. And that's the power of the Heavenly Father. And that's something that Esau wants to tap in, but he's not going to be able to, you know, because, you know, these chariots, man, they're, they're you know, this is, this is, you're dealing with a different type of, um, you know, this is, this is a spiritual, this is a spiritual vehicle, man. All right. This is nothing that was built or anything. This is, this is from the heavens, man. All right. And just knowing that, you know, the angels are riding in them. This is what our Lord is going to come back in. You know, these things are spiritual, man. Okay? These chariots has always been around, you know, from the beginning of time, man. Before the earth was created. All right? But now they're making themselves known throughout the whole earth. Because why? The Lord is about to make his second return. Okay? Let me get something else. This is uh the book of Luke. Uh, chapter 21, and uh, let me see, 21, and verse 28. So look, I'm going to start at verse 27. It says, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and gl great glory. Who the Son of Man? Son of Man being Yahweh Shai, who the world able to call so-called Jesus Christ, right? He's coming back in a what? A cloud. A cloud being a so-called UFO. All right? And it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, right? The prophecies. Then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. All right? So right now, you know, we're seeing the prophecies coming to pass. All right? The, the next major prophecy is the mark of the beast, which they're going to make mandatory, where you're going to uh, have to have a, a RFID microchip implanted inside you in order for you to, you know, buy and sell in this uh, economy, in this society, okay? And, uh, you know, they're going to force everyone to take it. Once that is a, you know, that's the next major prophecy. Once that happens, then, you know, the Lord is right there around the corner. All right. Because World War Three is going to pop off right after that. You know, and that's when the Lord is going to come back and deliver his men, deliver the elect. All right. So we're going, you know, hey, you got to, we got like the scripture said, we got to watch as well as pray. You know, watch out for current events. You know, watch out for the prophecies, link them up with the scriptures. We know that the Lord is right there around the corner, man. And it's more evident in the world because of these chariots, man. These chariots are popping up, you know, and that's a sign, you know, to the elect, man, that the Lord is, is drawing, near, drawing near onto us, man. You know, he's drawing nigh. Soon, you know, the Lord's going to make his second uh, return on the earth, man, and all eyes shall see him. You know, even our enemies, they're going to they're going to witness us being delivered and beamed up in these chariots, man. OK, and these are the things that the so-called white man fears, because when he see these things, you know, he knows that his kingdom is coming to an end. You know, these are the things that the, uh, the so-called white man fears. All right. To prove that, let me get uh, Zechariah, the fifth chapter. OK, this is Zechariah, chapter five. And. Uh. Verse 1, and it reads, it says, uh, Then I looked, Salaki, and then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. Now, the prophet Zechariah, what he was talking about, he was talking about a so called UFO, all right? This is what he could, you know, um, describe it as, as being a flying roll. All right, the length thereof is 20 cubits, the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off 
as on this side according to it, and everyone that swear it shall be cut off as on that side according to it. And how did so-called white men, you know, get this land? By robbery, you know, by stealing this land from the natives, you know, the tribe of Gad, the tribe of Reuben, all right? And now he got the nerve to tell people that they're the immigrants after he done stole this land. So guess what? Those chariots, what you see, is going to be for his destruction, okay? So it's a, it's a curse onto these, onto these heathens, all right? But for us... This is our deliverance out of this place. This is our deliverance, you know, and to be one with our uh, our power, you know, once again. You see? So this is a, you know, this is a curse to Esau, but this is a blessing a blessing to our our, you know, to the elect. Okay? But for the for the two-thirds and the wicked and the other heathen nations, man, this is a curse, man, you know? But it says um I will bring Bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, which is America. It says, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof, man. All right? So those chariots, man, they're going to they're gonna shoot down laser beams, man, and destroy this place. That's what the Lord said. He's going to come with fire. All right? And, and, and the slain of the Lord shall be many in that day. Because many of our people, two-thirds of our people, the, 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 the wicked and the rebellious uh, Israelites, the Jakes, out of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're going to have your part in that, in that uh, lake of fire as well, man. Right with the, the devil, Esau, Edom, man. Okay? But just know that, you know, these chariots, man, all right, they're for the, our salvation, you know? And, uh... You know, it's nothing that Esau could do, man. None of his technology is going to be able to come against the powers, the powers that be, man. You know, you know, because hey, the Lord, He's the one that created, created everything. You know, these these devils, they, you know, they got they got that technology because the Lord gave them that technology. You know, of of, of uh, you know, the having the, you know, the Smith, the you know, the having the German scientists create these missiles and whatnot, you know, these, these fighter jets, but they're not going to be able to take down, uh, the Lord and his angels, man, you know, but the Lord said he's going to put it in the spirit for Esau to fight against them, man, you know, because the Lord, he, he loves a battle. He's a man of war, you know, but yeah, man, you know, hey, just to see these, see these chariots, man, it's a sight to see, man, you know, but even better to be in one, you know, so yeah, with that I'm gonna end it there. All praises due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom. We almost out of here, Akim.